361 Corpus Christi, Texas here. So this is uh, one of two of my tuners. I have two of them that I actually use in my setup. This is my VCI Vectronics tuner. This is the one I use with my co-phase antennas, which is two four-foot fire sticks. So when I bought this tuner and the other tuner, um, it actually did not come with the barrel plugs to actually power the light. So there was no able to power the light or anything like that. So what I did is I ripped out the barrel connector connections out, out the back of both term, uh, tuners, tuners. And I added my, my own wires over to my uh, power supply. That way I can actually have a light. So I'll show you inside the tuner. So if anyone's ever wondered, this is actually inside of the tuner. So what we did is we took out the barrel connector hole, which was actually right here. And we ran the wire, one wire from inside the hole. And then we went under the board there and we went up the side of the housing and we plugged in right here, which is actually the positive side for the light bulb. So now, plugged into the power supply, we turn on the lamp switch. We have light now. Now we're gonna do the same thing to the other one. The other tuner. Alright, so this is the second tuner that I am currently going to use for uh, my antenna B setup, which antenna B is the dipole right now, but it's going to be pretty much any antenna that's plugged into it. And, uh, this tuner, the MFJ948 Deluxe Versa Tuner 2, is going to be used for antenna A. And same thing with this tuner. I bought it from the same guy, just like that one below. And both of them didn't have the barrel connectors. So on this one, what I did is, again, I took out the barrel connector. And the barrel connector was right in there. So right on the center pin, I wired up uh, the wire straight to that. And then I put the ground to the nut right over here. Which is the ground lug. Which goes in right there. I would have done it on the other tuner, but I didn't have enough wire to go from this side of the box all the way across and down. So I did it I did it uh, this way on the box. Because that little screw right there is actually the ground on the first tuner. But I didn't have enough wire, so that's why I went to that lug right over there. And then this guy's... Um, this to stand up this guy's lug was actually really close to the plug right there so that's what we did so now let's turn on the first box which we know it works and now let's turn on the second box ah bam so custom wired and got both lights working on the tuners now and now I can put it all back into its home.